In the picturesque Dutch polder landscape of Southern Zeeland, Martin is the third generation farming on the Hove Dierkenstein. In 2023, he partnered with Nestui to explore the potential of new intermediate crops. A variety of crops were tested, and the field trials revealed that camelina contributes to continued soil cover, can be harvested, and is particularly well suited to the local climate and soil conditions. We did an experiment with uh, some seven crops and camelina by far had the shortest cycle. And that's giving a new opportunity. And therefore we are now hoping that after growing our winter wheat, we can now produce a second crop. The impact on soil health is rigorously studied by Eurofins a global leader in food and environmental testing. Camelina intermediate cropping leads to continued soil cover and higher biomass production, which may benefit soil carbon accumulation in the long term. In addition, Camelina plants have contributed to supporting local biodiversity. We could see that uh, where there is this camelina, where you have flowers, you have uh, life, you have diversity, while in the, in the crops that are left fallow or with only regress, so no flowers, uh, there wasn't much to, to observe. By adopting regenerative farming practices, specifically planting an intermediate oil crop that can be harvested, local farmers stand to gain an additional revenue stream. I believe that this is a, a, an alternative uh, which, which would work, that you really have a potential a green manure, an intermediate crop, with a potential financial benefit for the farmer, but also for the ecosystem. Dutch farmers have long been pioneers in agricultural innovation. These regenerative agriculture practices are set to produce substantial quantities of raw materials for renewable products, while enhancing soil health and promoting biodiversity.